Okie dokie. So this is section uh, 7.1, exercise 16. And uh, we're being asked to compare uh, a, a couple methods for finding areas. And uh, we're told we want uh, the area y equal x bounded y y equal x squared and uh, y equal 6 minus x and they graph it for us which is nice um, so we've got our x squared there and 6 minus x uh, doing something like that and they even kind of tell us about what those points look to be um, it looks like that's at 2, and that one is at 4, and we can check that. Uh, and then out here, this one looks to be at uh, negative 2 and uh, 9, I think. 9? Really? Huh. Uh, how about 8? Uh, no. So I don't think that is negative 2. That must be negative 3 and 9. How about that? Okay, so uh, I think that's at negative 3 and 9 is for, from looking at the picture. And, of course, if you graph it on decimals, you could get those points quite nicely. Um, we can check this out, right? Uh, if I try 2 for x, uh, y equal uh, 2 squared, I get 4 and y equals 6 minus 2, I get 4, so those two worked. And then uh, try the negative 3, y equal negative 3 squared is 9, and y equals 6 minus a negative 3, and I get 9, so those two work. Okay, so we want to find that area, and... Uh, um, in this case, if I uh, use x, I'm slicing this way. And so I need the heights at each of my x values. So I'm going to do a, an integral from uh, negative, whoops, negative 3, not negative 2, uh, negative 3 uh, to 2. And my height is just the top curve. So uh, 6 minus x minus the bottom curve, x squared, and then dx. And so this I can simply use power rules, and I get uh, 6x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 uh, from minus 3 to 2. And, and I guess I should say this is uh, part A. Um, and so now I need to just uh, put those pieces in. So I have 6 times 2 minus 2 squared over 2 minus 2 cubed over 3. And then minus 6 times negative 3. Uh, minus negative 3 squared over 2 and um, minus negative 3 cubed over 3. And so we get uh, 12 minus 2 and 8 over 8, so minus 1. And then minus, well, we got to be, okay, so I'll get a negative 18, so it's minus a minus. So I get plus 18. Um, here I got a bunch of minuses going on, but first I square it, so I get 9 halves, but then a minus and a minus. So that's plus 9 halves. And then here, uh, this last one, I have a cube, um, so that's negative 27. Uh, but then another negative that makes it positive 27 over 3 is 9. And then a minus outside for minus 9. And so 
I got a minus nine there. And there's another minus three and a plus 12. Those all make zero. And so it looks like I get 18 plus nine halves. That's uh, 36 halves plus nine halves, which is equal to 45 over two. So now we try another method and hopefully that also works. So in this case, well, by also works, I mean, hopefully we get the same answer. So this uh, was at nine. Uh, this was at four. This is at zero. And in this case, we're going to slice things up this way. Well, so that's lovely, except I have two different ways to get heights. I've got this way over here and then something different down there. And, and so I have to uh, take care of each of those separately. And uh, I need to think about these curves instead of uh, y equals x squared. Um, I need to think of that as x equals, uh, I have a plus and a minus square root of y. Okay, so um, the distance here in this part from 0 up to 4 is actually uh, 2 times the square root of y because I have plus the square root of y and minus the square root of y. And I'm going to take plus the square root of y minus the square root of y. That's, uh, sorry, minus the minus the square root of y. So I get two negatives. And so that distance is twice the square root of y. And, and so for that bottom part, I'm going to have an integral from 0 to uh, 4 of 2 times the square root of y dy. And then for this upper part, well, uh, we had y equals 6 minus x, which makes that x equals 6 minus y. So that's x minus six, uh, that's six minus y. And uh, so as I take that height, that height is uh, my six minus y minus uh, uh, the square root, except, right, it's minus a minus. Um, so as I do that subtraction, uh, I will have, uh, from 4 to 9, uh, the top curve, as I look at this, is going to be my 6 minus y, and the bottom curve is that negative uh, square root of y, dy. Oops, dy. Um, so we've got a minus here and a minus there, so really we, I, we can just go plus. All right, so we do each of those separately. Um, well, square root, that's y to the one half, so I get two times y to the three halves divided by three halves from zero to four, uh, plus um, we have a six y and a minus y squared over two and a plus uh, y to the 3 halves over 3 halves. And that whole thing, right, is from 4 to 9. Okay, well, 0 is not a problem. We'll put in 4. So uh, invert and multiply with the 3 halves. We'll get um, 4 thirds, uh, 4 to the 3 halves, and then plus. Well, we get our 9 first, so I get 6 times 9 minus 9 squared over 2 plus 9 to the 3 halves, uh, well, all times 2 thirds. So 2 thirds times that. And then minus uh, 6 times 4 and a minus uh, 4 squared over 2 and a plus uh, two-thirds 
uh, four to the three halves. Okay, so these two integrals, uh, well, um, four to the three halves, well, that's the square root of four, which is two cubed, so that's eight. So I get 32 over three plus, well, let's see, 54 minus, now I get um, 18, no, 81, sorry, 18, <laughs> 81 over 2, and then 9 to the 3 halves, so that's square root of 9, which is 3, cubed, which is 27, uh, times 2 thirds, well, that's actually 2 times uh, 9 then, and so that's where we get an 18. And then minus, we have our 24, and 16 over 2 is 8, so minus 8. And then plus, uh, again, square root of 4 is 2, cubed is 8, and so we get 16 over 3. And so this is, well, the the three things, um, so I've got a 32 over 3 and a 16 over 3, but the 16 over 3 is negative. So those two over 3, I'll get that. Plus, um, I have a, a 54, so I've taken care of those two things. Um, here I have another 16, right, there's 16. And, um, and it's a minus, so um, 18 minus 16 is 2, so I'll get a, a 56 from that, that, and those two, and then minus 81 over 2. Well, let's see, so that's 32 over 6 minus um, 243 over 6, and uh, plus 56. I'll take care of those fractions first. Um, that's a negative 2, 1, 1, I guess, over 6, plus 56. And hmm, that does not reduce. Yuck. Um, well, maybe I'll actually just use a mixed number um, and figure out what this is. This is uh, negative. Well, 6 into the 21 goes three times, five times, so this is negative 35 and a sixth, I guess, uh, plus 56. So 55 minus 35 is 20, and then one minus one sixth is five sixths. And so I don't get the same answer um, bummer. Okay, well, let's stop this and figure out what's going on. Okay, well, when I screw up, it's always a question as to whether do I make a new video or um, because I did such a horrible job or something like that. Or do I point out where I screwed up and, uh, and, and go from there? Well, I think here is a nice important part about uh, the, you know, what humans do well and what technology does well. And uh, for the most part, humans, we can set up the integrals pretty well. And in part A, I did that just fine. That is correct. And in part B, I did that just fine. Um, 
these are correct. And then um, what do you, the technology do well? well? What they do is evaluate these integrals very well. And uh, I did fine down here um, with this uh, 20 and 5 sixths. That is the correct answer. Um, what happened up here, I had to go back and look at things and what I realized was this term right there. So I, um, I had uh, two cubed over three. And then down here, I've kind of written over it to check my work, but what I wrote was uh, here, eight over eight. Not sure where the eight came from, but uh, um, at any rate, notice, you know, I had a three here and, and um, I think I had a three there to begin with, but at some point it got changed to an eight. Um, makes a big difference having that different denominator. And so um, if one uh, plugs things in correctly and then evaluates them correctly, uh, so this was an eight thirds here. Well, you know, the 18 and the 12 made 30. Uh, the two and the nine made a minus 11. And so the two of those together made 19. So I had 19 and then I looked at the fraction, the eight thirds, which can be written as um, uh, six, that was a negative eight thirds, so that could be 16 over six uh, negative. And I had a nine halves, which is 27 over six. So I got the common denominators just for those and got 11 over six. Uh, so 19 and 11 over six is indeed 20 and five sixths. So, you know, it was set up well, but not executed well. Um, uh, I made that transposition error. Uh, instead of writing 8 over 3, I wrote 8 over 8. Yeah, that's where, like I say, technology does definitely better with the calculation part of it. We do better with the setting up. So we should get 20 and 5, 6 in both. The important thing is that the uh, integrals were set up correctly and um, and I'm just not good with numbers. Okay, so that uh, is most of number 16. Uh, it says compare your results, which method is simpler. Uh, in general, uh, will this method always be simpler? Why are we? Well, um, I would say A was much simpler, even though I got that one wrong. Uh, A was much simpler. Um, because I didn't have to split up my integral. Um, B was harder, really kind of for two reasons. One is we are very used to y as a function of x, not so used to x as a function of y. So that tends to be a little uh, uneasy feeling when, whenever you're working with that. And then the other problem was, well, we had to use two integrals, okay? Because the, in this case, our top function changed uh, as we were um, uh, working on this. So um, that is number 16.